I'm going to make a database and then put a table inside that database. First step is not to open access. The first step is to right click, say new Microsoft Access Database. This creates a nice database which you can immediately name something appropriate. I'm going to call it Game Dev Club because it's going to be about a game development club. Then you can open that file. Um, if you just open access and then create a new file, it, it, I found students have problems with uh, with that. So we're in access. Nothing is here in this database at the moment. We need to make something. Go to create table, and then this kind of brings up this view. This view isn't very helpful uh, initially. We need to go to the design view and we need to give it a name. Everything needs to be named well and it's a really good idea to name it well from the beginning. This table is going to create contain uh, all of the members details so I'm going to call it TBL which stands for table members no spaces because it's easier that way and it puts me into this view which is great this is where I can actually do something. The first field it always gives you is an ID which is an auto number and it's got a primary key on it. This is all good. We'll go to the next field. We need a primary key. We need it to be an auto number. We want it to be called ID. Do not ever change that one. Then we need to think about what um, field names we're going to have for the data in our table. I'm going to be recording people's details. So I'm going to go with um, family name and I'm going to go with given name. It's better to use family name and given name than uh, first name and last name because in many cultures first name and last name uh, aren't necessarily what you'd think. Uh, then we need to think about data types. Uh, so family name it says short text and if we look down the bottom here it tells us what that means. Field size is 255 characters at most. That actually sounds about enough. 255 characters is quite long when you think about the average Twitter post being 140 characters max. 255 characters is a long name. Give a name 255 characters as well. Yeah, we'll go with that, although there are people with ludicrously long names. There are other things we should change down here to do with the validation. Uh, we're actually not going to validate it because that's a bit of a pain, but we are, I think, going to make this a required field. So change required to yes. Allow zero length? Well, not really. I think no. And then we'll do the same for given name as well. So we're going to make that a required field and yes, that's right. And we're not going to allow zero length. Yeah, lovely, nice. Then we can add some other fields. I'm going to go with date of birth, D-O-B. Um, one thing, you never ever use date as a title. It just causes all kinds of problems. Uh, you've got to use date of something. Anyway, so we can choose a better format. Date time makes sense. And then if we go down to the format down here, it gives us some options, drop down option. I better make this window a bit bigger so we can see them. So the options are, hmm, well, let's just think about what kind of data is going in this field. We don't really need time. When someone asks you when you were born, you might give the day and the year, but it's pretty unlikely you're going to give the time you were born. So it'll be one of these ones up here. I'm going to go with um, short date be a little bit careful with this one of course because Americans often format differently from um, uh, people not in America. We'll make this a required field as well and maybe we'll come back to some validation rules and text later but no that'll do for now. So um, is that enough? Let's put in some address fields as well. Address 1 short text, address 2 short text uh, it's actually worth also noting that you can put a description in here. So this would perhaps say this will be uh, street and street number. That's pretty cool. And this one would be uh, town stroke city. So when someone is coming to maintain your database, they're pretty clear about what kind of information goes in those. 
Now we want to see what that actually looks like because we're still in the design view here. So if I just click on this view menu here, you notice you can always choose which one. Uh, we need to save. Yep. And then we can put in some family uh, name details. So we'll go with Smith, uh, Simon Smith, nice name, date of birth, and we should get a date picker. Um, I'm going to go back. He was born last month. Address 1, 1 Silly Street. And we know that it's, uh, he was that's in Auckland, I believe. Cool. So we've made a database. We put a table into that database and we've got an auto number primary key field and we've put some sensible um, data fields and so on. So that's the absolute bare bone basics of making a database with a table in. That'll do.